Hey everyone, most of you know that extra virgin olive oils have great health benefits, not the least for their polyphenols, but not every Evo is of the same quality. That's why I got the seven most popular extra virgin olive oils from the US and Europe and sent them off to a lab and let me tell you, I got the results back and they are pretty surprising. So today Victoria and me are going to reveal the results one by one and also we'll do some shots. Yeah! of Evo to evaluate the taste of course. But first, because we want this taste test to be as unbiased as possible, we'll have to do some more preparations. So I got the test results here and as you see we built a little score from the five main things that let you tell a good from a bad Evo. And those are the total number of polyphenols. It basically measures how many healthy antioxidants are in an olive oil. You want those as high as possible. All the remaining four factors that we tested, you want as low as possible. We measured stuff like free fatty acids, the diglyceride ratio, peroxide value, or even UV absorbency. All those probably don't mean a ton to you, they didn't to me <laughs> before I tested, but just think of it, they indicate how fresh, how well made an olive oil is or if it's for example been mixed with other lower quality olive oils. If you're curious to dive deeper on this and get into the nitty gritty details then check out the guide link below where I have my whole methodology for testing lined out and now we will pack up the test results and get started. One for each of them. So, all the olive oil packaged up and now we will reveal the test results and do a little taste test. Let's go. All right. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna first try this little shot and then reveal the results and reveal the olive oil. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> ready. Okay, I'll try. Should I drink it completely? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. This is, this is not Russian style. <laughs> okay. Mm. No, it's not spicy at all. Maybe in the aftertaste a little. Mm -hmm. Actually. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Let's see who we got here. This candidate has exceptionally high polyphenols with 483 milligrams per kilogram, but very high oxidation markers. Not good. The total score of drum roll, 42. Let's see who it is. Carapelli, Carapelli Organic. We test it here. Okay. Oh, this smells very lemony. It smells really good. Very smooth, very round, very rich. More oily in the taste. You unveil it. Wow, we have a high performer here. So the lab results reveal that it's super fresh, so it has very low fatty acids and excellent oxidation levels says even the harvest date and when it was bottled so you can be sure it's of good quality. The score, blah, 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 70. All right, so drum roll please. Ooh. It's Grasa Sizzle, an innovative olive oil brand that has taken the US by storm. Pretty good. Okay, your go. Okay, mm, yeah, the taste is, it, it's okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, so this is an organic olive oil and single origin from Morocco and it's ranked number one on Amazon US. But lab results show very low polyphenols, 184 milligrams per kilogram and high free fatty acids. Hmm. So not the freshest of oils to be honest, but excellent purity markers, which basically says it's all from one farm. The score? 57. Hmm. It's Atlas from Morocco. This one promises high polyphenols on their website <laughs> and great health benefits. But it seems Atlas probably <laughs> has been sitting on the shelf a little bit too long. Next one. You go. Okay. Doesn't have a strong uh, smell. Mm. Oh, and I really don't like. <clears throat> so this one is definitely not a winner. So it has high polyphenols, 
but moderate oxidation levels and no harvest date so yeah you can't guarantee the quality so a total score of only 46 what mm. is it Ta -da. De. De Keko. so this is actually the biggest pasta manufacturer worldwide i think this olive oil is all 100 percent italian but they still buy olives all over italy because it's a huge company and they, for the quantities that they need to produce they probably can't go single farm next one doesn't smell doesn't taste good at all like cheap olive oil or something so we Was have right? here Yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not the highest score, huh? but on the flip side, this is also the cheapest olive oil, mass produced but also organic and belongs to one of the biggest and most recognized olive oil brands around the world. Yeah, Ooh. multinational, they really need to look out for their profits, you know. And that's why they cut down on their quality and mix it up with a lot of oils, but surprisingly, this one has the highest polyphenols with 460 milligrams per kilogram. But yeah, as I said, poor freshness markers. So affordable, but underwhelming in quality with a score of only 40. And it's Bertolli. Ah. Organic Bertolli. Yeah, and actually no harvest date, but it comes in cheapest like 10 bucks, so maybe good for cooking, I guess. Next one, your turn. Mm. Okay, this one is okay, but it's not very spicy. Yeah, this smells more lemony, tangy a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like. Okay, very curious. Yeah. Ooh, sold it by, uh, I would say. It's the freshest one in the test, so it has outstanding deglycerate ratio and very low fatty acids and still very good polyphenols. So yeah, solid buy. And it scores 68. Ooh, the Graza again. Yes, that's Graza Drizzle. This is like the premium olive oil of Graza and this is the cooking oil. So I would have guessed that this, this one. This is better, right? No, yeah, this is better actually, but I would have guessed that this one would have scored higher. So you can save some money on buying this one instead of this one. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Okay. That's a different taste. I like that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's very smooth and thick, kind of. I get to reveal the last one? Yeah! So this one has a strong freshness indicator, low peroxide value and good polyphenols with 321 milligrams per kilogram. It has a harvest date on there, so you can guess it's single origin. And actually this is from the largest US olive oil producer, who is known for their high quality and sustainable farming practices. And this one scores 66. California Olive Ranch. Ooh. Not bad. Nice. nice. So who's the winner? Graza. Graza is the winner. Let's see, we need to reshuffle this. And so what's your recommendation? Which ones would I, uh, should I get? Good question. My recommendation to you and you of course, but you have me to get all the olive oils. Exactly. <laughs> get a cheap oil for cooking. This is still safe to consume. They all meet extra virgin olive oil standards. And you might be lucky with the polyphenols again, but they're not single origin. You can't really compare batch to batch because they always keep mixing up the oils to lower down the price. But if you want the health benefits, go for a more premium version that's single origin, like Grasa, for example. This, the drizzle or sizzle that is, seems to be a great option and it's also cheaper than than the sizzle version. Drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for shizzle. For shizzle. If, however, you're willing to spend the extra buck on premium olive oil, then for $35 you can get snake oil from Brian Johnson. And he basically publishes their lab results for each batch online, which makes it extra trustworthy, I would say. Similarly, the Green Machine from Olive Limits also does the same for Europeans. So if you live in Europe, this is a great healthy option with very high polyphenols and yeah, lab results. If you want to have 10% off on this, then follow the link in the description below. That said, if you want to dive deeper, 
and also download the test certificates, then find my extra virgin olive oil shopping guide link below. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Exactly. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> <laughs>